Some movies ask a little bit more of the audience than others. It's easy to mindlessly enjoy the latest big-budget explosion fest, but that doesn't work as well with films that require real brain power. In some cases, unconventional narrative structures and gaping plot holes require audiences to help piece together the puzzle after the credits roll. In the case of these films, it's those fan theories that truly provide the missing links. Grease's Flying Car Grease doesn't exactly thrive on realism. People in the 50s didn't really burst into song while fixing up hot rods and hosting slumber parties. That's strange enough, but by the end of the film, things get even weirder when Danny and Sandy hop into a shining red convertible and ride into the clouds. Viewers might be able to suspend disbelief that all these 20 and 30-something actors were still in high school, but flying cars at the fair? No way. But if you listen closely, there might be a more realistic explanation for all of the movie's eccentricities. Sandy isn't actually alive. In a moment of their lyrical recap of their supposed summer love story, Danny tells us, I saved the life, she nearly drowned. But what if he didn't save her life after all, and this is all just some elaborate fever dream Sandy's having before she reaches the other side? It's not hard to believe that she'd invent some crazy love story in her oxygen-deprived mind before passing over to the great beyond, with the climax being her literal ascent into heaven. The theory doesn't just explain Grease, it also helps shed some light on its ill-advised sequel. After all, if Grease is a happy dream, then Grease 2 is most likely a nightmare. At least for anyone who's watching it. The Goonies Country Club cover-up As classic as The Goonies is, it's hard to believe that the architects of Astoria, Oregon didn't happen upon all those man-made underground tunnels and treasure when they were building the town. Sure, it makes for a good adventure for the kiddos who discover them during their quest to save the city from greedy developers, but they couldn't be the first people in a hundred years to set foot in there, right? But one theory posits that the wealthy real estate developers who want to take over know about the treasure below, and they're actively plundering One-Eyed Willie's stash in order to fund their decadent lifestyle. The Country Club isn't really the end goal. It's a cover-up designed to keep the underground treasure trove safe. Willy Wonka's Secret Ingredient Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory might end on a high note, but for most, the golden ticket is no prize at all. Throughout the film, four of the five children who've been invited to tour the factory wind up gone, possibly disfigured, and never heard from again as their parents are carted away by creepy, rhyming minions. We're squeezing. She has to be squeezed immediately before she explodes. So what if Wonka is actually just a serial child abductor who relies on the flesh of these kids to make his recipes complete? After all, he does lead these little ones through rooms designed to exploit their specific weaknesses. The Oompa Loompas have complex pre-planned song and dance routines that reference individual children by name. Not to mention, all of the pipes in the chocolate factory are suspiciously child-sized. If children are the secret ingredient in Wonka's candy, the reason Charlie survives isn't because he's such a great kid, it's because he's the only one desperate enough to continue Wonka's work, especially now that he's seen exactly what it takes to lure his peers to their sugar-coated doom. No Aliens Allowed after The Sixth Sense and Unbreakable, director and writer M. Night Shyamalan became famous for his film's clever plot twists, but his next directorial outing, Signs, failed to impress a lot of fans. For most of the film, Signs is about a former pastor who struggles with his faith while defending his family against invading aliens. As a thriller, Signs is well-paced and exciting, until the twist. As it turns out, Signs' aliens can be defeated by water, leaving the audience to wonder why a supposedly intelligent life form would try to conquer a planet that's 71% covered by the stuff. Unless, as some fans argue, the aliens aren't aliens at all. They're demons. Think about it. Signs' various characters interpret the creature's true identities in different ways. To the sheriff, they're just mischievous kids, while an officer in the army thinks they're an invading military force. But the aliens don't have any technology. In fact, they can't even open doors. As such, the creatures aren't weak to water, they're weak to holy water. Mel Gibson's daughter, who has the irritating habit of leaving half-empty glasses of water scattered around the house, is described at various points as an angel. That might be literal. Since she poured it, the water that she leaves lying around is blessed and provides the key to the demon's destruction. Thematically, demons make a lot more sense than aliens, since the main character arc is about a spiritual reawakening, which makes the movie so much more than just sci-fi schlock. Someone else's totem. The ending of Inception will be the topic of debate for decades to come. Throughout the film, a corporate spy named Cobb appears to be using a spinning top in order to separate fiction from reality. If the top falls over, it means that Cobb is in the real world. If the totem spins forever, he's dreaming. At the end of the movie, Cobb spins the top but wanders away before he sees if it falls or not. Most people assume that this means that Inception's ending is ambiguous, but maybe it's not. 
Maybe his totem isn't the top, but his wedding ring, which he's always wearing in the dream world, but never in the real one. After all, a totem is supposed to be personal and never shared, and Cobb never explicitly says the top is his totem. Both were also given to him by his late wife. He doesn't appear to be wearing his ring in the film's last scene, so if you're a sucker for happy endings, this might just be the fan theory for you. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.